Well, good Saturday morning and greetings once again from Radio Wasteland Records here in Midland. We are now into it. It is oddly to say, but mid-November already. I know we keep talking about how time marches on pretty much every week, but that's only because it's uh, really pretty much goose-stepping toward the end of this 2020, as we so feel here. So good morning, Steve. Good morning, Pat. And Jeff, I saw a good morning from you as well, trying to keep up with those. And Anne, happy Saturday to you as well. Brisk one out there this morning, if you've not ventured out yet. Um, the uh, good old thermometer in the truck read 30 degrees, so we dipped below that freeze mark here in the mid-Michigan area at least. Heavy frost on the uh, on the vehicles this morning as well. So, But the good news is, is that there is sunshine right now. Read something about a high wind warning again tomorrow, so it looks like uh, that'll take care of the rest of the leaves in the yard. <laughs> Won't have to worry too much about that. Ron, good morning, and it is cold, Ron. Uh, it's cold, I think, all over the state, hopefully, here. And Sam, good morning to you as well. Thank you guys for being here. Okay, well, we've got quite a few things to cover as I wiggle the camera a little bit. No, we're not shaking in here. Um, Got a, quite a few things to cover, so we're going to dive right into them. We've got a few new releases. We had a big video drop yesterday. We've got some news and information about Black Friday and just the general state of everything uh, coming up as well, as well as some, uh, it pains me, but Christmas gift ideas coming up as well. Uh, we've got some thoughts on that. So first off, the new releases. It was a big one yesterday from ACDC and their new album, Power Up, or if you'd like the... Uh, the texting slang, slang, PWR, Lightning Bolt Up. Uh, brand new album from ACDC featuring uh, their single shot, In the Dark, plus quite a few other ones. Listen to a few of these online. We haven't cracked one of these open for quality control. Wasn't sure if we'd have enough to make it through the weekend or not, and we'll see where that goes. Um, if you were looking to pick this up, yet this weekend from us, we have five copies left. So hop on that... Uh, vehicle and get over here to grab one if you'd like to get one before they're gone. But uh, I think we should be able to get some more of these. Now, this is the black vinyl version. I'm aware that there are other colored vinyl versions of this out there. Not what was available to us this time around. So we've just got some great rock and roll on uh, on black vinyl. Read a few reviews on this. And as I mentioned, I listened to a little bit of it online. It's it's ACDC, folks. That's uh, You're going to get what you get because it's, it's good rock from ACDC. Um, on the Michigan Record Club Facebook page, I read a, uh, a quasi-review basically saying that if this is ACDC's farewell, then they're happy with it, and they've done good to say goodbye with this piece of work. So if you've got uh, yet to pick up Power Up, stop down. We've got a few more. If we run out, we will get some next week, hopefully as well. Good morning, Rob. How are you? And uh, Rick on the west side. Good morning as well. Okay. Uh, this wasn't brand new release, but a week or two ago, we had a couple of these on back order, one for an order and another that uh, we just had for the store showed up. This is the Queen Strike uh, Empire and a uh, great reissue on double LP. A couple different versions of this. There's a green vinyl version, uh, which we might still be able to get a hold of, but this one right now is a red vinyl version. It's a little thick on the price tag, um, and I've got to remember what else is in this package other than a double LP and it could be uh, limited as well. So we've got one of those. All right, now this the fun one. Okay, Rush. I, you guys know, many many of you know that I'm uh, a Rush fan. I don't consider myself to be a, a fawning fanboy, BOI type of Rush fan, uh, like some folks are, but I've been a fan of Rush since the early 80s, and I made no secret about that. So I was surprised to hear that they have put out a, and they being not Rush, but the label, uh, Anthem in this case, uh, put out a greatest hits album. Not something that uh, I'm used to seeing from Rush, at least in LP format. I know that there are compilation CDs out there from Rush, official ones, not unofficial, but some official compilation CDs at the very least. But on vinyl, the greatest hits, as you know, it has been, well, pretty much non-existent over their 40 plus year career. So it was interesting to see this. And I first saw the Walmart version of this. I'm sorry, the, the big box store, the Boxmart version of this Rush album come out. 
on red vinyl. And I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. And then out of the clear blue, a friend of mine from Facebook, uh, Mr. Joe Pesh, also on the west side there, sent me a couple copies. And uh, one of these uh, uh, was the Walmart version, and the other is a Canadian version of this. Well, I tremendously thank Joe a lot for that. That one went in the personal collection, which is right here. Um, but I had also found some more copies of the Canadian version. Obviously, we're not going to get the big box mart version for the store, although I think I had one. I don't know how we got that. That showed up. Uh, but I did find a few copies of the Canadian version of this. Now, again, I know I'm, I'm, I'm going off on rush, and let's see, the viewership has dropped down to 10, so I'll, I'll get through this quickly. It's an odd collection. Again, I'll, I'll say this because, well, you couldn't really put 2112 on a compilation in its entirety because the song's, you know, nearly 20 minutes long. But, uh, you know, they've got a good mix on here. Working Man, Fly By Night, then The Twilight Zone, which I think is an odd choice from moving pictures and not, uh, you know, not something like, um, oh, well, you know, the big one, Tom Sawyer on there. Closer to the Heart, Circumstances, Free Will, uh, Limelight, uh, Analog Kid. They get into their 90s stuff, uh, 80s and 90s. Red Sector A, Marathon, and Force 10. So it's an interesting selection, a little heavier on the mid-range rush, not the late hard rock, but the mid-range um, keyboard-centric stuff. Still good, mind you. Now, the Canadian version, glad you should ask, the, the, well, the big box version is a red vinyl, but the Canadian version, which is what we've landed, is a really cool clear splatter, orange and red splatter vinyl version of this. So that is, I think, just a really cool presentation, and it's a really neat have for those of you who are Rush fans that would like that. So we've got a few copies of that left, may be able to get some more. Also, on the new release docket was a 50th, 50th anniversary of American Beauty from the Grateful Dead. Um, according to this, collector's edition of the essential Grateful Dead album on 180 gram vinyl. And I'm not certain if it's a remix produced for release. I'm not sure if it's a remix or if there's goodies inside or not. Okay, there were also a couple of new Christmas releases yesterday as well, including uh, Megan Trainer, a very Trainer Christmas. This is a double LP with a lot of Christmas staples on there. And I do believe that this is on uh, one red, one green translucent double vinyl. Featuring uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire, and Seth MacFarlane's on here as well. The other new release yesterday was ho um, a Holly Dolly Christmas from Dolly Parton on opaque red vinyl. We've got a couple of these if you are into the newer Christmas music. Okay, onward to the, um, let's see here, restocks. There has been a bit of a drought on reissues from Led Zeppelin of late. Not certain what's going on with that, but things are crazy all over. But we were able to finally snag some. So we've got some Zepp reissues back in stock. One, no two, but three. We got four. Uh, I got a copy of Houses of the Holy and then the ever popular, and this one's one of my faves on there too, the uh, Physical Graffiti 40th Anniversary Edition. So these are all the new sealed reissues of Zepp. We'll have more in next week in time as well. Somebody was looking the other day for a uh, Aerosmith the Greatest Hits. Uh, we did put out a bunch of Aerosmith yesterday, too, in the vintage side. So we did get a copy of that. So if you were looking for it, and we landed a copy. Not the Rocktober. This wasn't one of the releases, but an earlier Rhino reissue of Remain in Light from The Talking Heads. All right. Onward, because I'm running low on time. Record Store Day, Black Friday, as of now, is still going ahead as planned. Things are a little weird on the COVID front and everywhere, if you've been watching the news, the uptick in cases and hospitalizations. Not just anecdotal in this case, uh, talking with a, a customer of ours yesterday who works in uh, Mid-Michigan Health, not in the direct line with the emergency room, but in a, a part of Mid-Michigan Health, who said it is true that uh, the hospitalizations are way up. They're really near capacity, and I'm hearing stories of that from other hospitals all around. So. I don't want to say and jinx it that there's another lockdown in the works, but who knows in this crap show that is 2020. It could be very well coming our way, and we just don't know it yet. 
So stay tuned for that. We'll pay attention. We here at The Wasteland will continue to do everything to uh, provide the safest environment we can for you as a crate digger. We'll continue to sanitize everything, uh, continue to ask that everybody wear masks when they come in, and uh, continue to really try to rein in the number of people in the store. Which brings us to Black Friday. The rules that we had in place for the Record Store Day drops uh, in September, August, September, and October will again be into play for Black Friday. Now add to the mix, it's gonna be a little bit colder outside. So if there's a line, it's gonna be chilly. We will pass out numbers again. Don't know what time between five and six is when I'll get here, but we'll pass out numbers to those of you in line so you can get out of line, away from other people, sit in your vehicle and stay warm. We'll open our doors at eight o'clock on Black Friday and allow 10 people in the store at a time, numbers one through 10. This has worked well for us on the drops. It'll work well for us here as well. Now, as far as the releases for Black Friday, still up in the air, but I'm getting an inkling from our distributors that we are not going to get a great deal of what we're looking for. I know we've been really, really lucky with the drops in the past few Record Store Day propers, uh, but this time around, we'll wait and see, but I'm not very optimistic that we're going to get a lot of everything that we have asked for. So... We'll just uh, kind of keep that uh, in mind and we'll see how things go. You'll get an update as we do. Now, with the COVID situation being what it is, we are also going to resume the option for curbside pickup for those of you who don't want to or don't feel comfortable coming into the store. Um, we're not going to put the inventory back online yet, but that is in the works. We're going to try to get that back up and updated and up there. So in the meantime, if you... See something you like in one of the videos, you can pay via the phone. We'll take a PayPal online. And when it's not too busy, we'll be able to get them out the door for you for a curbside pickup. So contact us here at the store for more information on that as well. So as we get closer, we'll keep you up to date. But we're going to start resuming curbside pickup pretty much right away for those of you that don't want to come inside. Okay. Um, Christmas, very quickly, I just wanted to touch on the fact that uh, because things are, there's such a big question mark, even with shipping, that it may be a good idea for you to take care of some Christmas shopping early while you've got the time. We have moved through actually three of our spin cleans in the past week, week and a half here. I've got three left. We're going to order some more so we have enough for Black Friday and Small Business Saturday coming up in a couple of weeks. But don't wait. I don't think there's going to be a problem getting any more of these, but again, who knows? So consider that if that's on your gift, gift list or somebody's looking for it. The ever popular poly sleeves from Midwest Music Source made in the U.S., as are the spin cleans. You can pick those up. And Pat, if you're still watching, the G2 Groove Washer, the fluid two ounce bottle, I think is back in stock. So we'll have some of these in next week. But we also have a wide range of Groove Washer products for you to, to add on there as well. One final note, in addition to the shortage with the Zeppelin and a bunch of other stuff, it has been difficult as H-E double hockey stick to find turntables. Now you can find the, the, I'll be careful here, the big box brand ones that you pick up with that used to be a respected name, those type of turntables are everywhere. But we have been very partial to the Audio Technicas and they've been near impossible to get. A little bit of that is freed up I have got uh, two or three of them on order that we expect them next week. There has actually two people have ordered them. So we will have some of the LP60Xs in stock next week here at the store. I'm going to attempt to get more. So we have some for the shopping season kickoff on Black Friday as well. So I think that pretty much covers everything. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop me a line here at the store or stop by and uh, we'll see what we can do to answer them. If you want to order something in particular, now's the time to do it. Do not wait until it's a, a little too close for us to land something with the way shipping has been going lately. So I think that covers everything. You guys get out, enjoy this beautiful Saturday. If that uh, enjoyment involves a bit of crate digging here at the Wasteland, please do stop on by. We will be open from now until 6 p.m. tonight. Sunday tomorrow from 12 noon until 5 p.m. Until then, uh, next week, we'll talk to you then. You guys have a great weekend and a great week ahead. 
And we will talk to you next time from Radio Wasteland Records here in Midland. Thanks a lot for joining us.